Hey guys, welcome back to Technode Firmacraft. So, it's been a little while since, um, well, for you it has been a little while for me. I've been doing some stuff. Um, I've gone out on the map, you can probably see more waypoints out there. I did a huge explore of the map. In fact, you can probably see where I've been. I've gone clear down here. I was searching for more copper. I didn't honestly find much. I didn't find any zinc. Oddly enough, I didn't find any cows either. And I didn't find any fruit trees. In fact, I was out looking for fruit trees as well. But I did find some more... Some more veg and stuff. So we got some bell peppers. Let's see, we've got some more seeds. Let's see what we can... We can put up here. Let's unseal that. Let's put our bell peppers up, our tomatoes, because I went out and gathered a bunch more seeds. Oh, and I got some leather, and I'll show you, uh, I'll, I'll tell you about those in just a bit, because I want to get this done. Uh, so jute seeds, yeah, found some jute. Okay, and let's seal that up, and let's see, oh yeah, I've got more. Check this out, I've got more pepper seeds, I've got more soy. Oh yeah, I've been busy, I've been so, so busy. Uh, let's see if I can... I can't do it in this menu. There we go. Put that back in there. Um, everything looks okay for now. Uh, let's see, so there's just straw in there. I'll put that back for now. Um, bone, I got venison. That is something new I got. Uh, deer bladder, leave that for now. Let's go ahead and seal that. I why I put the oat seeds in there. There we go. Um, anything else? And pumpkin, a short tasseled bamboo, another deer bladder, and another yellow bell pepper. That's right. Yes, I found some pumpkins. I've got deer bladders. All over the place, apparently. All right, let's unseal that and reseal it. Okay. All right. So yeah, I went out exploring, and I did find a couple deer. Um, unfortunately, I didn't catch that on the recording, because I wasn't recording at the time, because I was just exploring. This torch has gone out. And um, the first deer I killed, I didn't get the meat for it. I don't know what happened. But I didn't get the meat, and then I found another deer, I killed that, I got the meat, and I got the skin, and then as I was roaming around, there was apparently a, there was a wolf around, and I found some bones and some skin, so a wolf had uh, consumed a deer, uh, from what I can assume. So, okay, we've got some more seeds to put down, so let's see, we've got oat seeds, so let's see, we got to remember what types of seeds we got. So we've got oat, which is an A type. So we'll want to put that in. Let's see, this is all wheat. That's rye. Oh, right there. Okay, man, it is dark. Let's get some, let's get some torches out here. Yeah, and our nice bamboo fence. Hopefully it will keep the mobs away. All right, and we've got some yellow bell peppers. Yellow bell peppers were C. So we'll put them down. In fact, we've got a bunch of yellow bell peppers. Okay. Alright. Uh, what else did we get? We got some soybean. Soybean was... I'm just checking over my list. Soy was B. Alright. So this was all... Soybean. There we go. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? We've got jute. Jute is good for making rope. Uh, we'll need that later, and we've also got some red bell pepper. These are tomato seeds, so red bell peppers, I think, are the same. So C. I found a lot of these. There we go. Just keeping my eye out for mobs. And tomatoes. Tomatoes were. Check over my list. Tomatoes were A. So we'll plant ourselves some A crops, look at that. And then the last thing is jute, which we'll want. Jute 
I believe is C, or am I completely wrong? Jute? No, it's B. All right, so we'll plant some jute. In fact, we'll plant it in the back because it's a non-food item. The bat. Holy crap. There we go. I might need to cut down that tree. I don't know if that affects it or not. All right, so our seeds are planted. I think that's all the seeds. I don't think I have any more. I've got pumpkins, deer bladder, deer bladder. I don't know what I can do with the deer bladder yet. Uh, there's some good stuff I can do with these animal hides, and I'll show you later. Uh, now, oh man, there's torches. I need to get these pumpkins set up. In fact, I might do that. Let's go ahead and get these out, because these will work far better as permanent torches. So let's go ahead and do this. I don't know if you can probably hear a truck outside. There's, um, they're planting trees on my road outside. Yeah, let's just get... Because pumpkins are good for nothing in this pack except for jack-o'-lanterns. So, they're just good to, uh... They're good as permanent light sources. They don't go out like torches do. There we go. And there's probably... We'll just replace them as they go out, I guess. Sure, why not? Okay. Um so when we left off there was the uh the saw the, the more copper that was being created. Um of course I had to get it out and go ahead and pour it into the mold because um you know didn't want it to solidify inside the uh the vessel. <gasps> Whoa. Oh hi, Jesus, you scared me. Well, the fence is working. Let's see, do we need a, f a hammer or do we need an axe? Let's find out. I think we need an axe. This axe is going to break, though. Yeah, my axe busted. Great timing. Oh, man, there's more. Not good. Can I hit you through the... Yeah, I can. Hell yeah, I can. Okay. Well, I've got an invasion happening. Of course, he's found his way around. Uh, do I have another hammer? I do, because this one's about busted. Is there anything else sneaking up behind me? Well, the good thing is, they don't seem to, like, find their way around. They 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 can't seem to tell that there's an object in front of them. I guess that's a good thing about the bamboo. Come on. Eventually, when I get some better tools, I might just... Ow. How did you hit me? I'll put down, like, a solid fence. There we go. Or I'll put down a gate or something. Pretty sure rotten flesh is 100% useless in this pack. Can't even eat it, even if I'd want to. Okay, well, I'll get a couple, uh, let's just do this. This makes a bit more sense. Now, I don't know what's happening to the torches I'm picking up. In fact, let's just... Do they relight? Yeah, they do. Okay. Let's just put one here, and then we'll finally get on task. There, that's not a bad thing. Uh, that spot's okay. Then we'll get a bit lit up out here. Uh, you can see my health has definitely been dropping because my... Oh, no, wait, it's gone back up. It's definitely not what it used to be. Uh, do I have any food? I might have eaten all my food the last time. Gold pan. Deer bladder. Okay, I don't have any food on me. I made some more bowls. Okay. What am I missing here? I need... What am I missing? But 32 ounces of that. 
Oh, because I'm trying to make a sandwich, that's why. There we go. Okay, good. All right, back on to the saw blade. This is something we needed to make. So I've got it poured in the mold. Let's take it out. Now, does the book say I need to make the blade or do I need to make the whole saw? Uh, looks like I need to make the whole saw. In fact, casting age. Yep, I need to make a whole saw. All right. And I think it just requires a stick. No? There we go. All right, we got ourselves a copper saw that is going to help us loads. Uh, native copper. Let's go with the native copper. Oh, we get all of it. Never mind. Sweet. Uh, native copper. It's the same size. Okay. Or no wait. Copper nuggets and native copper. They're worth. Oh, these are worth fifty. Nice. We'll be able to make a pro pick out of that. Great, 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 great. Okay, but we've got the saw now. So we'll be able to expand things a little bit further. Now the book is gonna say next we need to, uh, we've already made the mining, we just need to make the prospector's pick and we can get some more copper. And we'll be able to make the support beams now, that's an important thing. Uh, but one of the things we need to make is planks and that's, we make planks so we got some ash lumber now the first thing I'm gonna make now one thing you've noticed is my crafting station here you know of course the standard minecraft four sides well guess what that is not right how do I make hang on <laughs> I've already forgotten I think it might be if I can spell it right how do you make a crafting table doesn't tell me Hang on, have I done this wrong? No. Somehow, hmm. Oh well, the book might tell me how to do it. Does it tell me? The wonders of wood? Well, I need to make a chest. Now that you have a saw, you can finally craft chests. Chests are a little uh, the craft just ate lumber at the time. This chest is made of any wood. How do I make a freaking crafting table? This is the first step to how I figure out what I'm doing here. Uh, doesn't say. How do I make a crafting table? Crafting upgrade. Um, auto crafter. Seriously? Hang on. Wait. Let's try that again. Oh, that's how I do it. Uh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Sorry. I need actual plank bits. Okay. That makes more sense. Here we go. Let's take the saw out. And then. Do you like that? And like that. And crafting bench. And voila! My bench is opened up and now I can make some more stuff. Now, there, you can use these in a certain way. As you can see, they can be used just like that. And you can lay them down. Uh, well, these actually have to go up against things. But, you know, you can use planks just like little micro blocks, which is really neat. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to make is because I could desperately use it. Finally, some god dang chests. Oh, it's so glorious. So now we can finally put some of this bigger stuff up, but you still can't put like wood in things in there. Makes sense, right? Because you need to be able to pile it up. Um, so the next thing we're going to want to do is I need to make up some more copper. So if this is 50 units, we need to make a pro pick. Now, is there any other tool I need to make? Uh, a pro pick is good making anything else. 
Oh, apparently I completed, oh yeah, I completed the chest thing and I get another chest. Sweet. Uh, we're gonna need barrels. So the next thing I need to make is a prospector's pick. Um, we'll go with that for now. So we'll make a prospector's pick because we're gonna be able to get so much more stuff. All right, so we gotta do the old, do I have, now here comes the problem. What is in here? 44 straw. Let's just take that out. We'll use this one. In fact, we'll just put those in there. All right. So we've got our ceramic vessel. We've got uh, two native copper. Let's see, they're worth 50 a piece. So we'll put those in there. Now, do I have my pro pick mold? Propic mold. Okay, good. There we go. All right. Uh, we got some bowls in there, so we'll go ahead. I feel like we always need more bowls, especially we're low on bowls. So let's go ahead and craft up some more bowls. We always end up running out of bowls. So let's see. Like that. Bingo, bango. Didn't go into the slot I was hoping. There we go. And then we'll just set this to go. A little bit of wood. I need to cut down more trees. And we'll... I missed. There we go. Close enough. Is it gonna go? No? There we go. That's going up. Great, let's go ahead and collect that torch. Huh. All right, so as you can see, crops are gonna take forever. In fact, any progress on them, as you can see, 8%, not bad, 2%, 4%. They're gonna take forever to grow. So, you know, can't rely on food for now. Uh, let's go ding that heart. I need some water. Oh, that scared me for, I set that fire myself and it scared me. All right, so we're gonna get. Oh yeah. You can uh, blow over the jug. And it's kind of like Rust with the guitars, I think. I've never played Rust, actually. Uh, the, the direction you look is the tone. It's very neat. I forgot about that little trick. Okay, so the Pro Pick is being made. So, in the meantime, we've got leather we want to do stuff with, and barrels are going to be important. They're used for many things. Uh, they can function as water vessels, however, some crafts... Okay, so we want to make barrels, and we'll get a barrel in return. So, how do I make a barrel? Um, you can make a barrel roughly... Not that way, because I can't make a bucket. Uh, just like that. Okay, sweet. Barrel crafted. Oh, and there's one thing you notice, there's water inside here. If you leave large vessels and barrels, if you leave them without any items in them, they'll collect liquids, they'll collect rainwater. So it can be good if you're not near a water source uh, as a way of collecting water. Uh, so let's see, we got the barrel. So done, so we got a couple barrels, there we go. Barrels are going to be very important. You can use barrels for storage. You can also use them. Hello? You know, I haven't seen the pigs around lately. That's concerning. They've probably wandered off. I do keep hearing things. I think it's because I'm stepping on the pumpkins. Okay, so as you can see, again, you can store stuff in them. Um, you can carry barrels around, in fact. Where did it go? Oh shit, did I destroy it? No. Oh, there it is. So of course, you know, I can carry this barrel around. Now what happens if, I think you can't put, you still can't put lumber in there. So let's say I put this stuff in here. Okay, and then we seal it up. Now I can carry it, but what'll happen, I'll pick it up. Huh. Oh wait, here we go. Because it went on my back slot. But if I remove it from my back slot, 
I can't move. I can't move. It says overburdened. I can't move at all if I'm carrying a barrel that's got stuff in it. But you have a back slot, and if you put that on your back, as you can see, I'm even carrying it. I can move around. So it's a way you can, you know, carry more stuff. So that's one way to... But yeah, once you uh, take it off your back, you can't move anymore as long as it's got stuff in it. Now, of course, unseal it, and I'm going to take that stuff back. Okay, is that my propic mold? Okay, so next thing we need to make is a bucket. A bucket will not help us move a water source around, uh, but they can transfer liquids, uh, which we're going to need. We could wait for the rain, but I don't want to wait for the rain. Oh, one thing I want to make. Let's see. Can we do this now? I think we can make a fence gate, a carpenter's gate. Uh, not what I want to make. Some planks and two planks on the side. All right. Uh, let's see. Gosh, I'm getting low on wood, but that's okay. Um, there we go. Now, if you want to, like, say, pick this up, you can do it quicker like that and in fact you can cut down trees with the saw it's a lot faster than using one but of course you know copper at the start you might want to save using it so get a couple of these and then how did it say it went like that there we go these might not work right but that should hopefully help keep us safe there we go. They look a bit dorky, but any port in a storm, right? I know that's really not how that saying goes, but in this case, what I'm kind of implying is anything that works will help. There we go. Now we'll be safe in our little little den. No worries of monsters creeping in. Hopefully they shouldn't be able to. Oh, that torch has gone out. There we go. Now we're safe inside. So no worries of zombies or creepers or anything else. We've got a fence that's nice and high. Uh, I believe a skeleton can shoot through it. So it just... Yeah, that's what I'm stepping on. So it just keeps the mobs from getting inside. Doesn't really do much against things shooting. Okay, so we need to make a bucket. Now, let's see. How do we make a bucket? Any eye is such a great mod. It's always been a great mod. Wooden bucket. Easy peasy. One, two, three. Easy. Bucket attained. So yeah, it doesn't move water sources around, as far as I know. Oh, you can see through the world there. Okay. So I don't think yeah, see, it just disappears. So you can't Okay. So you can't move sources around, at least not with this bucket. So I can't make gardens wherever I dorn world, please. Uh, let's see, these things can take 10 buckets of water. So probably better. I should have done this. I should have just moved the barrel next to the... Next to the water source and then picked it up and put it on my back. Would have been the smarter course, but I didn't do that. And it looks like our fire kiln is done. So let's take it up. So what do we got? We got copper liquid, 100 units. Let's go ahead and get our pro pick. So as you remember, you take the mold, you stick it inside the vessel, and it fills up. Now, of course, anything unused will remain in the vessel, but over time, when it cools, it will solidify. And it doesn't ruin it, but if you want to use it again, you have to heat it back up. All right, let's put our bowls back on the food container. There we go. All right, I've already made another salad, but we're probably going to break this bowl. Let's just be darn well honest with it. Wow, surprisingly, I didn't lose that bowl. I've been, I'm hard on bowls. You know, I have a good salad, and then I just immediately take it and smash it over my head. Um... Let's get a couple more pumpkins out. Uh, having a chest is nice. Uh, the luxuries that you don't realize you, you miss, you know, with this mod pack. It's like suddenly, oh, Minecraft. Uh, there we 
we go. And we'll just plonk one up here. Could use my shovel. That'd be the smarter thing. And it's raining. So, good time to show you what's going to happen. Of course, it's loud in my ears, so I apologize if I'm yelling. I'll turn that down a bit. So, as you can see, it's filling up with water. Now, I could stop that by, you know... Of course, you see the item slot is... The item tab is now done, but you can empty them. Um, but I want these to actually fill up. Because I'm going to have use for it when I start trying to make leather. Because I'm going to need it. Now, all my torches are going out because of the rain. I could put up more pumpkins. I'll do that off camera, though. So let's not worry about that for now. Uh, luckily, I can reach the torches outside. These are all going to go out because of the rain. It's okay. It happens. Okay. Alright, so we'll go ahead and let those fill up. So we've created the bucket. We've moved the water. Great. Wooden bucket. Oh, I actually need to officially have it full of water. I think I can just do that. There we go. So, quest done. Oh, that's really saving me from having to go get wood. I'll just put that back in there. There we go. Awesome. Is this chestnut? That's ash. Okay. Not the same kind of wood. I'm going to kind of stand in the middle in case skeletons decide to roam up on me. Okay, so what else does the book tell me? It's nighttime, so there's not a lot I want to go out for. Oh, I've got... Oh, yeah, I got the uh, mold for the pro pick. So let's go ahead and finish making that. So we've got the pro pick. There we go. That's going to be an important tool, and we'll get around to explaining that. Okay, so I need to make support beams next. Uh, can I make them out of chestnut? That might be easier. And poor native copper. Uh, do I have any chestnut? Oh, hello. Ooh, hi. In fact, I'm going to go inside, which my torch has gone out. There we go. Uh, stay out of the rain. It's not so much yelling. Do I have any chestnut? Because it'll just make this easier. Chestnut right there. Okay, cool. Um, so I need to make support beams. And then we'll pretty much wrap up after this support beams. These are also going to be very important. So you need two logs and your saw. Okay. Sycamore uh, chestnut. Did I use? Oh, here we go. So we'll make a couple of those because we're going to need them. There we go. And all in due time we'll be explaining how they're used, but we want the copper. For sure we want the copper. So there we go, because because things. All right, we're going to need to make a chisel. Now I probably could have made one. Uh, I might get that started. No, we'll start that next episode. Chisels aren't 100% important yet. Uh, let's see. We need to make our first bronze or bismuth bronze ingot. So we need to make bronze. That is going to be difficult to do. Without tin, we're going to have a hard time making bronze black bronze if we can make let's see what kind of bronze we can make uh, let's see there are three miners any bronze alloy of copper and tin uh, copper and zinc with bismuth uh, and between tin and bismuth black bronze is an alloy of copper Gold and silver. These are things we don't have. So this is going to be a problem because I haven't been able to find the stuff I need for bronze. We may have to go further afield for that. But that'll be okay. Especially like flux powder as well I'm not going to be able to get my hands on. Uh, let's see. Flux powder. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and take care of that in the next episode. So, and we might get started on some mining. Maybe? We'll see how that goes. It's almost morning, and I've gone a little bit long, so I hope you guys are enjoying watching this. And I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.